News at 5 starts now. Getting rid of the lieutenant governor. Why lawmakers are considering the cut. Plus, Harriet Tubman will be the new face on the $20 bill. Why it's a major change in the U.S. But we begin tonight with continuing coverage of the death of music icon Prince. It's a story WMBD brought you as breaking news on air and online. Prince was found dead today at his home in Paisley Park in the suburbs of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. Prince's plane made an emergency landing last week in Moline, Illinois, where he was hospitalized. He'd been fighting the flu. Prince was only 57 years old. We'll have more on his death later in tonight's show. Following up tonight on financial issues in the Canton School District, we've heard from some concerned parents and want to point out the decision to potentially close schools in central Illinois is a ways off. Some superintendents say closing is a last resort because of legal issues. They realize it's not fair to the students to keep them out of class. Again, no decisions have been made to close any school districts in the fall. Two students in District 150 are facing charges after a fight, and one of them had a gun. District leaders say the kids clashed at Knoxville Center for Student Success Wednesday morning. Staff got everyone outside of the classroom, then found one of the kids with the gun. No names are being released. It's unclear whether the gun was loaded, but one of the teachers safely took it away. Women are cashing in. The Department of Treasury is putting women on paper currency. WMBD's Hannah Hilliard did some research today and found a connection in central Illinois with one of the historical figures. Hannah joins us in studio with more tonight. Hannah? Well, Paul, according to historians, Peoria was the place to be more than a century ago, and it turns out one of the women soon to be on our currency has also been to the River City. It was leading up to the Civil War. Harriet Tubman helped free dozens of slaves. It was also around the same time the first paper bill was printed. It's time for women to be back on our paper currency. Harriet Tubman, an Underground Railroad worker, will soon be on the front of the $20 bill, bumping President Andrew Jackson to the back. A woman could grow up as a slave, uh, remain illiterate, uh, and through her heroism and her vision and her determination, help to change the course of this country. But Tubman is not the only switch. Other changes are coming to other bills, like Susan B. Anthony gracing the back of the $10 bill. We learned she actually spoke to a crowd at Rouse's Hall in downtown Peoria in 1870. She was out stumping, going community to community, trying to get support for her cause. In a Peoria newspaper article after Anthony's visit, the reporter describes Anthony. She was skinny and had, you know, had her hair up in a top knot and and glasses on the end of her nose, dressed all in black. But also the crowd. It says, quote, men came to scoff, but a few bold women came to admire and hope. And now, nearly 150 years since her visit, there's still that admiration and hope. We're way past the point where we should be worrying about whether it's men or women who did it. Let's get people who make a difference. Well, the $10 bill will also have Im images of Sojourner Truth, Elizabeth Cady Stanley, and others part of women's suffrage. These will all appear on the back. Same with Martin Luther King Jr. and Eleanor Roosevelt on the $5 bill. Paul. All right, thanks, Hannah. Illinois Central College has a new president. The ICC Board of Trustees selected Dr. Sheila Quirk Bailey as its fifth president. Dr. Quirk Bailey was among four finalists. She's the first woman to be president at ICC. Her contract will be finalized with a vote at the Board of Trust me Trustees meeting excuse me, on May 19th. A proposed constitutional amendment to eliminate the position of Lieutenant Governor is moving forward in the General Assembly. Evelyn Sanguinetti, who holds the post, wouldn't be affected. The measure is sponsored by Democratic Senate President John Cullerton. A resolution is trying to eliminate the office of Lieutenant Governor in 2019. Now, if something were to happen to the sitting governor, if this bill was passed, the Attorney General would step into that executive role. Plans to rehab an historic warehouse in Peoria are a go. The National Park Service approved the design and plans for the Murray Building, which means developers are eligible for historical tax credits. It'll help cover some of the costs of the expensive project. The commercial portion of the building should be ready for tenants come August, and the residential units should come shortly after in the fall. Pekin Police are giving you a look at what they do during their shift through a virtual ride-along. Detective Mike Eaton, along with a second shift officer, will be giving updates on calls and posting videos and pictures via the Pekin Police Department's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts tomorrow from 3 to 7. You'll be able to interact with the officers through social media and have your questions answered while they're on patrol. Illinois State University finds another piece of history just a few weeks after unearthing a time capsule from 1959. This time capsule it's from 1961. Crews found a damaged time capsule while demolishing an old residence hall. Thanks to a tip from an alum, 
Crews were on the lookout for a second time capsule buried in another dorm being torn down. It was found Tuesday morning in nearly perfect condition. The contents were similar to the first with dance booklets, old newspapers, and modesty rules for women living on campus. This is what your parents and your grandparents had to go through. Maybe a different set of circumstances, but we all had to go through these growing pains and we all had to do these things to get our degree and, and to become the people we are today. The school is working to put together a master list of time capsules that have been or might still be on campus. The Rubik's Cube is back at St. Philomena Grade School and is back by popular demand. Now, you might remember struggling over the puzzle as a kid. These students are showing us how it's done. It started when a few kids asked about starting a club and holding a competition. Since then, the school has been having weekly workshops. It leads up to the big race. Who can complete the Rubik's Cube the fastest? It's nice to see the Rubik's Cube coming back. Uh, personally, I could never solve one. I guess I never had the patience to try to solve one. But to see these kids now solve them in under a minute, um, young kids, fourth grade kids that are solving it in a minute or less, uh, th th that's really a lot of fun. It's very impressive. I have also never solved one. About 50 kids joined the competition from first through eighth grade. One seventh grader finished the puzzle in a winning 52 seconds. Pretty impressive. The United Kingdom is celebrating the birthday of Queen Elizabeth II. The British Queen is 90 years old. She's the longest reigning monarch in British history. She also achieved another milestone as the nation's first sovereign to celebrate her 90th birthday. A crowd gathered in Windsor this morning to wish her a happy birthday. President Obama makes a stop in the Middle East while he's talking conflict with leaders in the region. Plus, Prince is dead. We'll have more on his life and career coming up. And showers and thunderstorms are moving through central Illinois. We now have one severe thunderstorm warning in effect for portions of McLean County. This is southeastern, extreme southeastern McLean County. This morning's in effect through 5.30 p.m. Quarter-sized hail and 60 mile per hour winds possible. We'll have more on this storm coming up after the break. You're watching WMBD News at 5 in high definition with Paul Cecchini, Evelyn Wilkerson, and Chief Meteorologist Chris Yates with your local weather authority forecast. This is WMBD News at 5. Central Illinois, proud. of crossovers with intuitive all-wheel drive see driving in a more confident light for a limited time lease road just 189 per month or get zero percent financing for up to 36 months take on mother nature shop choose nissan.com hi i'm matt kaufman general manager of sam layman crasher jeep dodge ram in bloomington trade in and trade up during the spring trade-in sales event trade-in values are at an all-time high plus we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one of ours during the spring clearance event get new dodge grand caravans just 18 490 new jeep renegades just 19 880 during ram truck month get new rams just 21 990 sam layman bloomington.com this is what precision feels like. Magnetic ride control actively monitors road conditions a thousand times per second to deliver a comfortable ride. A thousand times, huh? Yep, per second. How about that? This is the new, meticulously crafted 2016 Sierra Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. Or use your Auto Show cash to get nearly 9,300 total value on specially equipped 2016 Sierra Crew Cab SLT models. See your Central Illinois GMC dealer. The Kobe Jack Pub Burger is a bold twist on our butter burger. We're really excited about this burger. Kobe Jack is a mild cheese and it has just the right amount of melt. That is good. I think it's a perfect fit for this burger. Seared Midwest beef, always fresh. It's got crispy onions on it. It's got steak sauce or peppercorn mayo. We top it with your Kobe Jack cheese. All served on a zesty artisan bun. It's one layer of flavor after another. Welcome to Delicious. Oh, I love spring at Extreme Motors. There's nothing like waking up to that new car smell and cranking up my favorite tunes and getting ready for our spring savings celebration. Right now, drive the hottest selling SUV in its class, the new 2016 Nissan Rogue 
for only $199 per month. Come celebrate the savings at Extreme Nissan or online at ExtremeNissan.com. Now, your local weather authority, WMBD's chief meteorologist, Chris Yates. Welcome back. We've been tracking showers and thunderstorms moving through central Illinois all afternoon, and we've just recently had some nearby storms out in the Twin Cities. Here's the current view from our Dillman Brothers Sky Cam. The sun kind of peeking out through the clouds for now. It's a little more active elsewhere in McLean County. We'll show you that in just a moment. 63 degrees, the current temperature out in the Twin Cities. Winds around to the southwest at 6 miles per hour. Where rain has been falling, temperatures are cooler. 59 degrees in Peoria, 55 in Lake, and 58 degrees in Pontiac. But again, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through central Illinois. The strongest storms are on the first initial band of rain that came through earlier today and are mainly right along I-55 at this point. We'll zoom into this one storm. This is where we have that severe thunderstorm warning in effect for extreme southeastern McLean County through 5.30 p.m. Now, the storm is quickly racing to the northeast at 30 miles per hour, so the threat for areas like Fooseland and Bellflower, it's going to be coming to an end here pretty shortly. But a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 5.30, quarter-sized hail, and gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour, the main threats with those storms. Now, back to the west, we're still tracking some more scattered showers and storms popping up just west of Peoria and moving through Canton. A bit of lightning here, but that's just about it, along with some heavy downpours and maybe winds picking up to about 30 miles per hour. So, there will be a threat of some isolated severe storms, at least through early evening, as this area of low pressure, which is just now spiraling its way north of Quincy, it's heading into central Illinois. It's keeping the shower chances alive at least for now. But the storm system is going to be pulling away. That area of low pressure moves off to the east pretty quickly tonight. We'll see some drier air funneling in for tomorrow. We'll start off with some partly to mostly cloudy skies in the morning, uh, mainly between 9 and 10 o'clock. And then we start to see a pretty, probably a cloudy early afternoon before the whole system finally moves out. Now, here's future track through tonight. Showers and storms will gradually come to an end by midnight. Maybe an isolated shower or two down south. Skies then become partly cloudy through the rest of tonight. If you're heading out to see the Chiefs game, we're going to have to continue to dodge these showers and storms through this evening. You'll get the game in, but it may be delayed from time to time as these bands of rain move on through. I think after 8 o'clock, I think rain chances for the most part will be coming to an end. Temperatures mainly in the 60s and 50s. Now, low temperatures tonight down into the lower 50s. For many, there will probably be a few upper 40s to the northwest. For tomorrow, it'll be a much nicer day. A bit of cloud cover from time to time, but a much drier day. No more rain to compete with. Temperatures will also be a little bit cooler. Highs only in the mid to upper 60s, but it's actually a little bit warmer than it was initially looking, so we'll take it. 67 in Peoria, 67 in Bloomington Normal, and a little closer to 70 out west and to the southwest. Now, just in time for the weekend, the sun will be coming back out. 71 degrees Saturday, 80s looking to return to the area on Sunday. Unfortunately, a more active weather pattern looks to take shape as we go through early to middle parts of next week. The one day of interest from a meteorological standpoint is going to be Wednesday. We'll have to be on the lookout for some strong to severe storms that day, but a lot of time to see how that evolves. Who knows? Maybe that chance of severe weather goes away, hopefully, by next week. See. Sometimes it's got to rain, though. It sometimes it just has to rain. Again. All right. Thanks, Chris. We're continuing to follow the death of music icon Prince. We'll have more on his life coming up. And a new interactive map is helping farmers share conservation efforts ahead of Earth Day. We'll share more from ICC's East Peoria campus coming up on WMBD News at 6. Let's talk turkey. New premium carved turkey at Subway. It's oven roasted just right. It's like thick, tender, juicy, just the way you like it. And it tastes even better with fresh veggies and applewood smoked bacon. Our new carved turkey and bacon sandwich. Subway. Fresh is what we do. Hey, good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you. We love Ashley. She's one of our regulars. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> at Kroger, we're family. And so are our customers. My mom always said, to have a friend, be a friend. Come back soon, Ashley. You know we will. Right now, get Tyson Natural Boneless Chicken Breasts for just $1.79 a pound. And packages of strawberries are three for $5. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Who will buy and 
Good looks, energy efficiency, a true custom window made just for you. Renewal's advanced Fibrex window technology gives you the strength and stability of wood, and yet it's virtually maintenance free. When it comes to curb appeal, no one can beat Renewal by Anderson with over 47 interior and exterior color combinations, and for a limited time, get no interest and no payments until 2018. Get ready for spring. Call Renewal by Anderson now for your free in-home consultation, and you'll say, Renewal by Anderson, we love our new windows. Right now, get two large original or flatbread single topping pizzas for only $20. Casey's, famous for pizza. Workers' compensation claims do not always involve an accident on the job site. It could be a repetitive trauma injury, such as carpal or cubital tunnel. Call or stop by my office in Junction City. Let me put my 30 years of experience to work for you. Everyone cares about something. And when we do care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. If the unexpected ever does happen and you find yourself filing a claim, you will quickly find out that not all insurance is the same. The things we care most about are things we just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist. Because the worst brings out our best. That's the silver lining. Van Gundy Insurance Agency, an official supplier of the silver lining. All lines of coverage, locally owned since 1946. Insure with confidence. Learn more at vangundy.com. In 1934, Steak and Shake decided the world didn't need another hamburger. They needed a steak burger. So they used 100% beef. Quick sear to seal in the flavor you'll only get from a steak burger. Steak and Shake, home of the original steak burger. You're watching WMBD News at 5. Music icon Prince is dead. Brooke Silver Braga has more on the music icon's life. Fans left flowers and shed tears outside Paisley Park Studios near Minneapolis after hearing that Grammy and Oscar winning recording artist Prince was dead. He was found unresponsive in the elevator. I just can't even believe he's gone. He was born Prince Rogers Nelson in Minneapolis in 1958 and grew to become one of the most recognized and decorated recording artists of all time. His sound and style was an unmistakable blend of funk, rock, R&B, soul, pop, and dance music. He crossed every boundary, every genre. He broke through barriers all over the place. Prince became an international movie star in 1984 with the release of Purple Rain, which won two Grammys and an Oscar for Best Original Song Score Oh, no, let's go. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2004. Last week, Prince was hospitalized with what he said was the flu. Michael Holtz DJed for Prince. He was at Paisley Park Saturday night when Prince appeared at a dance party. Just told us when you hear news, give it a couple days before you waste any prayers. And we're all like, all right, he's on the comeback. Prince was 57 years old. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York. As you would expect and as you saw, many people around the world are mourning his loss. Others will celebrate his music and party like it's 1999. President Obama is in Saudi Arabia this week meeting with leaders in the Persian Gulf. Mr. Obama is also looking to ease tensions between the U.S. and one of its strongest allies in the Middle East. The president's also focused on stabilizing conflicts across the region, including in the fight against ISIS. Law enforcement along the West Coast closes a drug tunnel that connected Mexico to California. The narrow passageway is about half a mile long and goes from Ote Mesa to Tijuana. The tunnel has an elevator, lights, and ventilation. Agents found dozens of marijuana packages inside, weighing nearly 2,000 pounds. Investigators found a similar but smaller drug tunnel late last year. 
that led to these same communities. Still to come, Zika virus is impacting blood donations, the message being sent to travelers. Here's the CBS Evening News tonight. Tears are falling among fans as the world mourns the loss of Prince. We'll have the life and legacy of the cultural icon who revolutionized music. Plus, we'll introduce you to the man who's been hired to tame Donald Trump. We'll have those stories in the rest of the world news tonight on the CBS Evening News. Hey there, neighbor. What are you uh, working on? The view. Uh-oh, better get Mako. For a limited time, Mako's lowest priced paint service is on sale for only $2.99. Mako, America's body shop. The final days are here for Beds Direct and Rooms Direct is going out of business forever. With just days to go, this is your last chance to save 50, 60, even 70% on brand name mattress sets. Every stick of furniture, all mattress sets, leather, grandfather clocks, and more must be liquidated at a sacrifice. Extra markdowns have been taken. Even with no credit needed financing, we have no choice but to let it all go at a fraction of the price. Oriental rugs from around the world are an insane 75% off. The final days are here for Beds Direct and Rooms Direct is going out of business forever. Don't miss your last chance to save and get your free onion. Hey there, neighbor. What are you uh, working on? The view. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. For a limited time, Mako's lowest priced paint service is on sale for only $2.99. Mako, America's body shop. If a nursing home injures your mom or dad, call Parker and Parker. Grandpa, did you get the brakes fixed yet? Not yet. Ready? Go! Taking care of your car shouldn't take over your life. Save big now with Meineke's 119 Brake Special. Meineke, on with life. From the first building block to the last coat of paint, Menards is here to help you build all of your projects with an 11% rebate on everything. Menards has a huge selection of Mastercraft doors in stock. Take one home and install it today. Select sizes of this DuraCore Prime interior door are only $62.29 after 11% rebate. Stop in for an 11% rebate on everything, now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Grandpa, did you get the brakes fixed yet? Not yet. Ready? Go! Taking care of your car shouldn't take over your life. Save big now with Meineke's 119 Brake Special. Meineke, on with life. Hi, I'm Mike Woolsey, General Manager. Brad Mike, Parker, hey. On. Hey, Drew, how are you me. doing? Do you want me standing here where I'm going to finish? Now, Brad Barker Honda, we have the best. He's... Landon, what are you doing in there? I think everybody's gone. Can we try this again? Welcome to Brad Barker. <laughs> I'll get it right this time. Hi, I'm Mike Woolsey, General Manager, Brad Barker Hi, Honda. Hi, I didn't know you were in today. Hey, Kristen, I'm here all the time. What are you talking about? Sorry, guys, I don't think this is going to work today. But it's like we always say here at Brad Barker Honda, you're more than a customer, you're family. Here's what you can see tonight on WMBD, Central Illinois Proud. You're watching WMBD News at 5. Blood donation services like the Red Cross are seeing fewer donors thanks to Zika virus. Melissa Adan has more on how hospitals are preparing for the worst. All it takes is a mosquito bite. The thing to remember is that four out of five of the people that get Zika have no symptoms at all. The hysteria has taken off nationwide, but the virus will most likely be affecting coastal regions. Population of those mosquitoes in Florida and along the Gulf Coast, you're going to see more of those mosquitoes. However, mosquitoes won't be making their way to West Texas until late spring or early summer. So when should Lubbock begin to worry, if at all? To put this in perspective right now in Lubbock, our odds of waking up tomorrow morning with influenza if you haven't had your flu shot are multiple, multiple, multiple times higher than of catching Zika virus. And doctors say for the Lubbock area, the primary cause for concern is traveling to and from an infected area, and even more so for women. If you're a young woman and you travel, you come back to Lubbock, you get the symptoms that are consistent with the disease, you need to go see your physician and get tested for pregnancy. Women who are either pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant not to travel to those areas. So, the best way to not get it, don't travel to infected regions, and of course, to always protect yourself from mosquitoes the best that you can. And we, they eat us, that's how we get the virus. Um, but wear your long sleeves, wear your long pants. It's hard in Lubbock when it's 106, but you can still put on mosquito repellent. 
All right, now blood donation services say if you are planning to travel to a warm weather climate and you want to donate blood, you should do so before you go. There are also tips on the CDC's website, cdc.gov, to prevent yourself from being bitten. Now, if you haven't yet had the flu, you aren't quite in the clear. The CDC says parts of the country are continuing to see widespread flu activity and it's expected to continue for several weeks. With more people buying over-the-counter medicine to treat flu symptoms, some pharmacies aren't able to meet the demand. Doctors suggest getting a flu shot, covering your mouth when you sneeze or cough, and as always, wash your hands. Two high school students in Wisconsin are using 3D printing to design prosthetic hands. Their science teacher received grants to buy 3D printers. The students are teaming up with a game designer to create custom-made hand models. Now, the plastic parts are assembled into a prosthetic hand from those 3D designs. All right, don't go anywhere. Chris has a last look at the forecast after the break. Embarrassed to smile? Low self-confidence? Ready to enjoy your favorite moods again? The Fair Dental Group has a solution that could change your life in just one day. Join us April 26th in Peoria and April 27th in Bloomington for a free seminar to learn about enhancing your smile and your life. Honda believes in helping you use your garage to its fullest potential. That's why we're offering great deals on the things you'll want in your garage, like the Honda CRV. The best selling SUV in America comes with a standard multi angle rear view camera and plenty of cargo space. Great for transporting lots of stuff, say to storage or the dump. Hurry to the Honda Dream Garage sales event. You've got a garage to fill. The most durable, longest lasting brand in its class has great deals. Now at your Honda dealer. Avanti's is ready to party. <laughs> Get your team banquet or game party rolling with Avanti's perfect party food. Pizza, wings, gondolas, and more. Great food at a great price at Avanti's. The warmest family memories start right in your own backyard. Unplug with a new hot tub during the factory rebate event at The Great Escape. Get up to an additional $1,500 cash back off our lowest price on jacuzzi and Sundance spas. Only at The Great Escape. Hi. I'm Matt Kaufman, General Manager of Sam Lehman, Crasher Jeep Dodge Ram in Bloomington. Trade in and trade up during the Spring Trade-In Sales Event. Trade-in values are at an all-time high. Plus, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one of ours. During the Spring Clearance Event, get new Dodge Grand Caravans, just $18,490. New Jeep Renegades, just $19,880. During Ram Truck Month, get new Rams, just $21,990. SamLehmanBloomington.com. We're celebrating thousands of bathroom remodels and satisfied customers. I'm Nick Bohannon. Beauty to safety, big or small, we do it all. Call Custom Bath Solutions today for a free in-home consultation or visit CustomBathroomSolutions.com, a proud member of the Prairie Home Alliance. Hello there. Hello. Oh. How do you like the car you're sitting in right now? It's so nice. I think it's beautiful. I like this. You're sitting in a truck that's its own Wi-Fi hotspot. Really? I didn't know they did that. Woo! Hey guys! Hey. Who are we talking to you? So you think that's a good thing to get Auto Show bonus cash? Who doesn't like having cash handed to them? Now use Auto Show bonus cash to get a total value of ten thousand dollars on this Silverado All Star. See Barker Chevrolet in Lexington for this great deal. Hillscape Landscaping, our garden center is home to hundreds of hanging baskets, perennials, annuals, aquatic plants, pond supplies, and a whole lot more. Looking to build a patio or pond? We now have county landscaping products in all shapes, colors, and sizes. Hillscape Landscaping, turning landscaping dreams into reality. Embarrassed to smile? Low self-confidence? Ready to enjoy your favorite moods again? The Fair Dental Group has a solution that could change your life in just one day. Join us April 26th in Peoria and April 27th in Bloomington for a free seminar to learn about enhancing your smile and your life. Join us April 23rd for the third annual Run, Walk, and Roll at the East Peoria Levy District to benefit Easter Seals. Log on to kidstherapyprogress.com to register. You're watching WMBD News at 5. A couple from Wisconsin struggling to have one child now has three sets of twins. The couple adopted two sets from the same mother. With the help of doctors, the couple has now given birth to an additional set of twins back in February. Good things tend to come in threes, as we all know, but for this family, 
they've come in pairs. Pretty neat. Nice story. Yeah. Too and many I guess kids for me, though. They live on a farm. <laughs> you got two. I'm okay, sure that's I got my hands full. They live on a farm, so the idea, I guess, is that once they moved out there, they just had all this space, so you need some kids to run around on the farm. So it makes, got uh, makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. If I had all that open space. Starting too. five plus the sixth man. Just let them, dig, <laughs> let them keep going. Not uh, a great day to play. No, we've outside. been uh, kind of dodging some showers and thunderstorms. That's going to continue uh, a little bit longer this evening. Now, the severe thunderstorm warning that was in effect for eastern McLean County is no longer in effect. That storm has now moved out of McLean County and just continues to work its way to the northeast at about 30 miles per hour. There are a few more showers and thunderstorms developing just off to our west. Uh, no severe weather there, but some heavy downpours, some rumbles of thunder, and frequent lightning can be expected. But things do improve as we head into the weekend. We'll see a lot of sunshine, temperatures in the 70s Saturday, 80 on Sunday, more, uh, more showers and storms early next week. Could see some severe storms on Wednesday of next week. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thank you for watching. WMBD News is available on air, online, and on the go. You can head over to our website, ciproud.com, and get the latest news on our app for your phone or tablet. We'll see you at 6. Thank you.